In the previous three parts, I've shown you how to build this autocomplete text box in React. In this, the final part, I teach you how to make the list of suggested items configurable so the component becomes truly reusable. I want some good data for our suggestions, so I'll get a list of all the countries in the world. I Google for it, and there's actually a text file for it on GitHub which is perfect. So I click View Raw and I copy all of them. We want the countries to be an array, so I create a new module, countries.js in SRC, and we simply paste in the entire list, and we're going to export it from the module as the default export. I'm going to wrap it in backticks so it can be multi-line as opposed to, say, single or double quotes. And make sure there's no space at the beginning or the end of the backticks. And then I do a dot split on the new line character. And this will make it an array, one line, or country in this case, per item. The module now exports an array of country names. So if we go to our component, we have an array called this.items, which contains the hard-coded items, names in this case. We need to transform this into a prop. Props in React are a way to get data into a component in order to make it configurable. You pass props to a React element just like an HTML attribute. So if we have a look at the text input down here, um, we use two props on that. One is value, one is on change. So this is just how you get props into a React element. And you can see up here, the props are passed to the constructor. Um, we then pass them to super, and after that, they can be accessed via an object, this.props, from anywhere in the class. So we remove this.items from the constructor, we don't need it anymore, and we use this variable in the function on text change, where we filtered these items to get the suggestions based on what the user typed. So let's destructure this dot props to get a prop called items. And then we use that in place of this dot items. Now we need to go to the app component where we actually use the text box and pass in the countries as a prop called items. Um, so first we need to import our countries from the countries module we created. Then we add items as a prop, just like an attribute, and give it the value of countries in curly braces. So now the text box has our list of countries available. But what happens if we wanted to add another text box with different items on the same page? We simply add another autocomplete text tag. This one will set the items to be an array of names. We'll just hard code the array straight in the curly brackets, straight into the prop items. We now have two autocomplete text boxes. They're a bit squished together, so let's just add a bit of space in here. So now we've got two autocomplete text boxes on one page. Each has its own internal state. Both has its own list of items. So we've created a truly reusable component. If you want to progress to building entire apps in React instead of just components, see the link to my course, Learn React and Redux from Beginner to Paid Professional in the video description. I have new videos going out regular as clockwork every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at 9am Eastern Time. Click that subscribe button now and don't miss them.